What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. And first off, before we even get this video started, I want to apologize for the lack of uploads in like two days. We missed two days of uploads. But that is because we are in a brand new room. I had to take everything out of an old room, move it into here, set everything back up, and get things grinding and rolling once again. But we are back on the grind, and we got ourselves a banger of a video today with a Life Orb Charizard and a G Max Gengar team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. It is seriously crazy. And as you guys can tell, it is a lot darker in this room too. So we are still getting situated with the lighting situation as well. So if my face looks too bright or it looks too dim in certain times, that is why. So we will get on that grind and figure that thing out as soon as possible as well. But rocking out on this team front spot, we got the one and only Gengar. This thing has the Focus Sash, the Curse Body Ability with Trick Room, Icy Wind, Sludge Bomb for Sab and Shadow Ball for Stab as well. Right next to it, we got our Tailwind Pokemon with Whimsicott with the Cobra Berry for air moves. We got Prankster Ability, Helping Hand, Tailwind, Sunny Day for that Charizard, and Moonblast for our attacking stab move. Behind the face cam is the strongest Pokemon ever in Pokemon history. We got Charizard, the one and only. Life Orb over here, Solar Power as well, so it does more damage in the sun. With Protect, Scorching Sands, Hurricane for Stab, and Heat Wave for Stab as well. Right next to him, Defiant Bisharp with the Black Glasses. I absolutely love Defiant Pokemon, especially in this meta, because there's Landorus with Intimidate, there's Incineroar that's used a lot, and there's also Salamence that is also used a decent amount with all Intimidate, and we can use Defiant to kind of counteract that. We got the Black Glasses as its item, Protect, Sucker Punch, Assurance, and Iron Head as its moveset. Bottom left corner, Rhyperior with that Lightning Rod that can actually pair well with the Charizard if they're rocking Electric Pokemon, and it can actually work well in Trick Room. Got Lightning Rod, Choice Band as its item, Rock Wrecker, Rock Slide, EQ, and High Horse Power. This thing is just ready to attack all stab moves coming from all angles. Final spot, we got the Draco Fish. You guys already know plenty about this thing. This thing is Choice Scarf with a strong jaw, and then we got Rock Slide, Crunch, Psychic Fangs, and Fish's Strength. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that right double ladder and try to get our first win in our brand new recording room. First battle coming at you guys, and I also wanted to say this as well in the beginning, but I kind of forgot, but if there is an echo in the video, somebody please let me know. I mean, I will definitely listen to it, and maybe I won't hear something, but if you guys hear echoes, definitely let me know. I'm working on that as well, because I switched everything into the new room, and there's not a lot of stuff up, so I guess there might be a little bit of echo. I do have my soundproof foam, which is awesome, so that's definitely helping out tremendously, but hopefully we can hang a few more things up in here to kind of cancel out the sound, and then we can get rolling from there, but first battle, this guy has Kangas Kong over here. Okay, that's a pretty cool Pokemon, with Rollaboom, Pikachu, Ndidi, Whimsicott, and... Mimikyu over here. So Mimikyu can roll trick him or just counter it. That's kind of fine. I think if I go Wimscott, kind of go with this Tailwind, I could go with my Charizard. I can totally go with my Charizard. I could go with my Gengar as well because Gengar is a beast. I kind of want to bring or actually lead Gengar. Or I kind of want to lead Bisharp. I feel like Bisharp's not bad here. But I definitely want to bring Charizard and Draco Fish. Draco Fish can be a nice little back end Pokemon. Um, do I lead the Gar? I say I lead the Gar. I say I lead the Gar, go Charizard. I wish I want to lead the Bisharp. Where do I bring Bisharp as back end over Dracofish? Because Dracofish doesn't really do, do too much here. But I am going to go Bisharp. I am going to go Bisharp here. I maybe should have led the Bisharp, to be honest. Only for the sheer fact that I can... Uh, that uh, it's still super effective to the Wimscott. But he might go Rillaboom and somebody else to take out my Wimscott. And I don't really like that because I want to get off a Tailwind and a Sunny Day. And get buzzing with my uh, Gengar. But Gengar poses a threat to Rillaboom as well. But he goes Pikachu and Kangaskhan. Which is totally fine by me. I'm going to set up a Tailwind. I mean Pikachu has Fake Out, right? Pikachu does have Fake Out. It is indeed. Indeed it does have Fake Out. I don't think there's a need for me to set up a, uh, a Trick Room. Not at all. I think Gengar's Trick Room is kind of just here to test her around and counter Trick Rooms. So I am going to go for this Tailwind obviously. And then do I just Shadow Ball on that Pikachu? Or do I go for a Sludge Bomb? Or not Sludge Bomb. Yeah, Sludge Bomb. It's either or. Either, either one I want to do. So this one can actually poison. This one can lower special defense. Uh, Pikachu's kind of low normally. So we should go for a Sludge Bomb. Over on the Pikachu slot. It's base 90 damage better than 80. So we're driving here. He's going to Dynamax Pikachu. I kind of saw that coming. G-Max Pikachu coming out. Right? Unless it's Kangaskhan. That will kind of throw me off. But I think he's just going to go for the G-Max Volt Crash. Yeah. He's just going to do that. So Tailwind's definitely going to get off. Because I don't believe Kangaskhan learns Fake Out. I believe not. Which is nice. Big, big old Pikachu is going to paralyze both of us, which is totally fine by me. I think we should still be able to get off this tail one. This thing does have Fake Out. Okay, so never mind. Wimscott is going. Wimscott is going. We flinch. 
I cannot move. Sludge Bomb does come out here. Build. This thing is light. So Pikachu is going to take big damage here. Bolt Crash is going to come out here. Overall, Gengar. Okay, we're sash. But I really do like that. So a Tailwind will be able to get off, which is huge. And then Pikachu should go down here. Unless he Dynamax. I mean, unless he guards. Um, How do I play this one? Do I have him guard? Do I read the guard? I'm definitely getting off this Tailwind. I'm definitely getting off this Tailwind. I wish I had like Sludge Bomb. I could Icy Wind. Slow them both down. But I don't think Icy Wind's gonna take him out. That's why I'd rather just go for a Sludge Bomb over onto the Pikachu slot. And we'll see what happens from there. But if not, we can take it out with a Moon Blast next turn. The Tailwind's gonna be lovely. Lovely, lovely. I was gonna read the guard. Maybe I should have read the guard, but I think I just made the safe play going after his Pikachu. And I think we should be fine. We still have Charizard and Bisharp in the back. And if we take out his Pikachu, he has no Dynamax. And we can set up a Sunny deck. It's just lovely. I thought he was going after Whimsicott. That probably would have been the play, but it's not. That one's going to be able to get off here. Pikachu is going to go down. That's huge. Pikachu's gone. Kangaskhan, Cillier. See you later, Pik. You only got off one move. That was a waste. That was a waste of your Pikachu. Don't you ever use Pikachu like that again. Don't you disrespect him like that. He's an animal. I love that thing. And he's going to go for a last resort. Ooh, yeah. Something crazy. Gonna go after my one scout. One scout eats. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be able to set up a sunny day here. I'm definitely gonna go for the sunny day, and I think I just uh, get after this Kangaskhan. Oh, ooh, we got you. We got you on the field. You want the smoke? You want the smoke, DD? Second surge is popping. We are gonna go for that lovely little sunny day. Get that buzzing for my Charizard. Sunny day, yeah. And he's gonna be able to pop, and we're gonna be able to throw a sludge bomb over onto. I kind of want to do more damage to this Kangaskhan. Actually, indeed, he's kind of annoying me a little bit. Now we're just gonna get after his Kangaskhan. We're gonna get after this thing. Dude, we still have that Char, man. We are sitting in a really good spot. He has no Dynamax anymore. We still have our Charizard. We have a Tailwind up, and our Sunny Day is about to get up here as well. Which is huge. Love to see it. I'm gonna get after Kangaskhan. I think indeed he's just gonna be able to, uh, Expanding Force. That's gonna be its thing. They're gonna pick up the double kill here. I'm gonna be able to bring out my Charizard with a turn of Tailwind. And then I have my Bisharp as well, which Bisharp is absolutely amazing. Hits like a truck too. Those Rom comes out here. How much damage can we do this thing? Peace out. Give me the poison. Give me the poison. No poison. Expanding force comes out. Kind of saw that coming. Gonna finish this off. Alright, that's fair. That is fair. Charizard comes out. We Dynamax him. We get buzzing. Uh, I think I go after the Indeedy. Who's faster? Bisharp or Charizard? That's gonna be a good question. That is going to be a very good question. But, yo, he gonna be scared when he sees these two come out here. <laughs> he's gonna see these two animals come out here. But Sharp, he's like, oh, God. He's like, not this thing. He tears my NDD up. And then he's like, oh, no, not this thing. <laughs> but we are buzzing. We're getting rolling here. All right. Dynamax, you. Uh, actually, I want to see the speeds first. That's what I want to see. Uh, is Bisharp faster? You can see him being faster, which I wouldn't mind at all. 122? He's not. Charizard is rattling through him. Um, Okay. Heat wave. We're gonna go for the wildfire, obviously. I don't think we need speed. We're thriving here, and then assurance can just come through here. Hmm. Yeah, insurance over on the NDD slot. Let's get buzzing. Let's get buzzing, baby. He goes for the follow me. That's totally fine because can NDD eat up a shy? He's gonna withdraw the NDD. That's totally fine. Kangas Kong's gonna drop here. Mimi Mimi's coming out here. Are you a little crazy for that one? You're a little crazy for that one. Cause now, now your disguise is gone. Now your disguise is just gone. It's missing. It's gone. Get it out of here. And he doesn't have a Dynamax. So G Max and I are, And we're going to be able to start doing pester damage with the wildfire damage. You love to see. But you love to see. I thought he was just going to go for a bomb. So I'm a fan of this turn. I am a big fan of this turn. We're going to be able to get off this lovely little wildfire over on the Kangaskhan side. And this should be able to take him out. Say, go home, buddy. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Dude's gone. Assurance is going to come out here. We're going to take off the skies. We're going to crit. Ooh, fancy. Fancy to little crit there. Oh, man. I feel like I'm too bright. I feel like I'm too bright. But then I might not be. Hey, I told you. We might have some problems with the lighting issue. There goes his, uh, there goes his little disguise. That's totally fine. I'll be able to take him out with a wildfire. And then, uh, the, yeah, this match is pretty much set, set up. Wait, this one's over. This one's over with solar power. We'll take a little bit of damage. Get a little bit of damage going on that. I love G-Max wildfire. I love that little extra damage. He is rocking leftovers? This dude's crazy. This dude is crazy. All right. Uh, we should, yeah, we should still outspeed, but these Pokemon are rather not faster than us. 
And do we have one more turn left in Tailwind? We might not. I can actually check. Do we? We have one more turn left. Um, bum, bum, bum. do I take a little bit more speed? I kind of want to go Wildfire over here. But, you know, we're going to go here. And then I'm just going to Iron Head over on the Mimikyu. I think that's the play, 100%. 100% though. And indeed, it doesn't have any defensive boost or special defense boost. No seeds on it. It's not rocking out with the Can't be Sash. This is a Sash and DD? No way. But yeah, his big mistake was going into that Pikachu turn one. That was a big mistake. Because once I took it out, it's pretty much game over. But yeah, with that, bang, Charizard's just storm rolling. It's game over. It's GG, yo. Let's get it. First match in a new room? Oh, yes, sir. This is how we like to get started off. This little Charizard team. We get buzzing with it. Iron Head's going to be able to take out Mimikyu. And we pick up that win. Let's get it. We're going to hop into our second battle. And see if we can get a win streak rolling for this video. Not going to lie. This guy's team looks fire. I'm loving the way it looks. He's got Crobat and Tyrantrum. Like, those are two very cool Pokemon. Then he also has the Rotom Pizza Oven. Spectrary. That thing's a beast. Got to watch out for that. He also has Inteleon and Kartana. Okay. Um, he's probably going to lead... Uh, I really want to start taking speed. He's probably going to lead the Crobat, not even going to lie. And mm, who should I go with? I kind of want Gengar up with you. Gengar is really good. It's Tyrantrum as well. I'm definitely bringing Charizard. And I just not Charizard, you know? <laughs> um, do you have any big out users? You might lead Inteleon. I kind of want to lead Draco. I kind of want to lead Draco. I feel like Draco can do big damage all. I'm going to lead Draco, actually. Bring Charizard. And then do I bring Gengar or Bisharp? Gengar or Bisharp? Bisharp can actually, uh... What can Bisharp do? He has the Iron Head. He has the Dark Moves. I think I'd rather maybe throw Gengar with the Sash in the back. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like that, that's a decent. Sash Gengar? Yeah. Let's, let's go Sash Gengar. Then we roll from there. Then we roll from there. So is this same squad? No, it's not the same squad. We got the Draco this time. We're rolling out with Draco. But we might not see Rapier today. But you guys already know what it does. It's heavy, hard-hitting, bulky in defense. Really slow, so it rolls well in Trick Room. But yeah, that's kind of why it's here. It's kind of here for that Trick Room. You want to send the Trick Room, or if they're rolling Trick Room teams, kind of bring that in. Or the Lightning Rod. Or the Lightning Rod. We got Rotom and Crobat here, which I'm a big fan. I can see him definitely protecting the Rotom. So I think I Tailwind, I match Tailwind, and I, I get it for a Crobat. Right? Or does he plot? Do we, do we just go Tailwind for Tailwind? And I just fish this right onto him? Or. No, I, I, I'd rather uh, choice into this. Um, what other Pokemon? What can he swap into? What can he swap into? He could swap into Inteleon. He could swap into Cartana. I just don't want him setting up a clot. That's the thing. But I think I go after a Crobat here. You know, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna pose this threat on this Rotom. Okay, so he's not gonna swap. He's not gonna protect. So good thing I am going after this. Good thing I am getting after this thing. Fisher Ryan's gonna come out here. So good call by me. Yes. Yes, we love those. We love to see people quit. <laughs> we love to see it. <laughs> I feel like that last guy was just having a rough day on the rank ladder. Like once he saw that I used Fisher's Ren, he just quit. He just quit out. I feel like he just turned off his console. I ended up getting the win from that. So it wasn't my connection going out. It was I think he actually did turn off his console, which is actually pretty funny. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for a perfect record for the jeans online gaming i'm on it baby looking for it for you guys trying to get after it um this guy is a pretty star studded team right here with uh rillaboom so i steal it raichu has the fake out he also has the amoongus and the ooh, man. midnight lando ooh. ooh we got to find Bisharp, which i'm probably gonna lead try to get this rolling i'll go here here he does have celestia i'm gonna bring charizard charizard looks like a box out here and then in the final spot do i go draco do I go with Draco? I feel like Draco's decent here. He does work against everybody besides the Lando and the Rillaboom. Uh, but he's just, I just feel like he's just going to be a back-end Pokemon. I really do like him. We're going to get rolling with this and get after it. And try to get ourselves that 3-0 record. But yeah, I feel like that guy in the last battle was trying to set up a plot. Or like he tried to like make like a really, really hard read. And it didn't work out for him because he was sitting there. He was probably like, oh, he's probably think thinking I'm going to swap or protect. So he's not going to go after me. And I'm going to set up a nasty plot. And then I actually just went after him for safe measures. And I just dumped on it. <laughs> and then, like, once it, once it said, drink a fish, use this fish to shred, It was like, boop, popped up. You have been disconnected. I was like, all right, I'll take that win. <laughs> 2-0, we're sitting good. What did we do in the last video? I think we went 2-1 in the last video. 
We went 3-0 and in two videos ago, and then we went 2-1, and now we're sitting at 2-0, and so we're looking pretty good recently. As of recently, the Jean's been bringing his game. Jean's has been bringing his game, but he has fake out, and he also has, he has two fake outs. He has two fake outs. I might protect my Basharp. I might protect my Basharp. Um, he does have the Surge rolling. Surge, he rolling. I might protect the Basharp. I think I just protect the Basharp here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's protect the Basharp. That coming out. Oh! Uh, I can see a double fake out coming out here just for a little pester damage, a little chip damage. Fake out coming out here. Block. He's gonna fake out my Wimscon as well. But yeah, so double fake out. He's just going for pester damage. So I can get off a Tailwind next turn. Which is totally fine. Which you love to see. Oh, we're getting some HP back. We're getting some HP back. He's gonna start nuzzling around, doing his little thing. I'm gonna be able to do that. And then do I just go for a. I'm just gonna go for an Iron Head over onto the Bilbin. Trying to try to give it a little flinchy. He might just go for knockoffs. He honestly might just go for knockoffs, try to take off items and stuff. Instead of Grassy God, because that's not gonna be too, too much here. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go for an Iron Head. Looking for the flinch down, or the flinch as well. You're gonna go for a Nuzzle. Yeah, kinda saw that coming. Nuzzle me up, baby. Nuzzle me up. Gonna get the para, obviously. And then high horsepower coming in. Hey, yo, chill on me. Chill on me. We eat that up. Okay. Uh, definitely gotta set up a lovely little sunny day here. Gotta set up the sunny day. And I feel like we have to get off some damage onto that uh, Raichu. Because the Raichu's gotta be Sash, right? But I think I just sucker punch over on that thing. Take off the Sash. Because I, I really don't wanna deal with it. I really do not wanna deal with it. The sunny day's coming out here. I am gonna sucker punch. Because he's gonna go for that Nuzzle, obviously, over on my Wimscott slot. He's gonna be able to uh, take out my uh, Bisharp here. Sunny Day comes out. Oh, give me that sun, baby. He's setting up for a Char Char. He's setting up for the one and only. Because, again, Bisharp goes out here. Hands down. Sucker Punch comes out. Hopefully, well, this thing was probably Sash. Jeez, but that did a good amount of damage. Glide's gonna come out here. We should, uh, I was gonna say, we should be able to eat that up, but nope. But nope, Bisharp's a lightweight. He's a lightweight. He doesn't take damage too well. Nelson's coming out from here. We saw that coming all day. Okay. So play now, get out Charizard, and uh, get this Raichu gone. Will Whimsicott outspeed that thing? Will Whimsicott outspeed? That's the real question. With a plus one boost. Because I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of just airstreaming over on the real boom slot, getting the speed boost, and hoping to outspeed that uh, Raichu, and just taking out with a Moon Blast. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I'm gonna do a Moon Blast. And then just be able to Dynamax and go into an Airstream over on the Rillaboom. As much as I want to go for the Wildfire, I think this is the better play. I can go for the Wildfire next turn all day long. But I 100% think this is the play we can take out the Rillaboom and the Raichu on one turn. And skip out on a Nuzzle. Because I do not want my Char... My Char Nuzzled up! I really don't want him Nuzzled up. But yeah, because we're Tailwind, we're Paralyzed, I kind of counteract each other. And then plus one Moonshot. Should be, we should be chilling. It's going to be Paralyzed, it's going to not be able to move. And then my Char is just going to get Nuzzled and it's going to screw us over later. What happens here? We do go first. Okay, so robin has gone. Get that thing out of my face. I don't want it here. I don't want it here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, dude, Charizard teams are dude, they're so easy to play. Not even gonna lie. They're just simple. They're just simple and they're so good. They're so good. If you guys want to push rank ladder, you know, try out some Charizard teams. Try out this one. This one's rocking out pretty well here. Yeah, one's got out speeds now. Yep, so Jeans' play works out just fine. Raichu's gonna go down. Beautiful. Beautiful. So no, no, no nuzzle on us. And now I can send a G Max Wildfire, get that Pester Damage and start mulling around. And then we still have Draco Fish in the back. And by the time he comes out here, maybe the sun might end? We have three more turns left, so that, uh, that's a little questionable. He does have Celestial. Oh, see you later, Celestial. See you later, sweetheart. I think I help in hand this one. Lando's gonna come out here. That's fine. Lando can come out here all day long. Uh, Intimidate is gonna come out. Who do I take out? Who do I take out? Lando is posing a big, big threat. They're both fine. But I think we just helping hand on this thing. I think I said we just wildfire. Who do I wildfire on though? Plastila? Or Lando? Because Lando is posing a big threat here. He honestly is. We still have the Draco Fish for that. He's not rock type, he's grounded flying. The rock is not stab. He might change up the weather on us, but we should still have speed. I'm gonna go after Celestia. See if I can pick up this just, just this easy KO. This Let's Steal might try to pick up a KO on my Wimscott and start beast boosting up. But again, we still have Draco Fish. And we still have Rock Slide. With we still have Rock Slide with the Draco Fish as well. And but we have Fish's Ren. But Fish's Ren is gonna neglect some damage over on with the uh, what's it called? With the 
the sunny day up. So hopefully this is Celestia, because we can potentially one-tap this thing in the sun with a helping hand. But I think he's going to die next to Lando. Let's see. Celestia, hopefully. Woo! Your boy! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so we got him back to Celestia. I think maybe we can one-tap this thing up. Maybe, hopefully. I don't know, this thing's pretty bulky. Here's my helping hand. Oh, yeah. We get that buzzing. Those are good first. Wildfire popping through. We won't hit KO this thing. It's GG. GG in the can. No. Perfect record for the new room. You guys love to see it, yo. Let's get it, yo. We are buzzing out here today. We are buzzing out here today for you guys. That was for the jeans. Online gaming community, baby. The community. It's for you guys. We buzz out. Pretty awesome match. GG, yo. Rockside did some work. If he Dynamax and just, uh, if he Dynamax and did a what's it called, that would have been game. Or well, now, if he Dynamax did a Rockfall, he could have took out my Charizard. But so I still feel like even if he Dynamax to Lando, we would have been fine. Because then I saw my Draco. My Draco, Draco, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Charizard rolls out. This team, this team is fire for pushing up the ladder. It's really, really good. I think I'll just Moonblast onto it. And then drop a Wildfire onto this thing. We get that extra heat damage. We get that extra heat damage. He's not going to quit. This dude really protects. This dude really protects. Like, he's going to win this match. Actually, he might be able to outspeed my, uh... No, you're not going to be able to outspeed my Charizard at all. You are not. Because even if Tailwind runs out, we just set up another Tailwind. Oh, no. We are dead. We are dead. We are dead, though. Charizard's, uh, solar power damage going to come out of here. But, no, it's still game. Like, we still have Draco Fish and, uh, what's called in the back. We still have Draco Fish and Whimsicott. And we have Wildfire damage. So he either, he has to pick up a KO here or wildfire damage takes him out. He has to pick up a double kill. He's going to drop a rock slide. Even if he does get the flinch, that's totally fine. Actually, I'm choice scarf too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to outspeed him. GG. All right, we still have a turn left in Tailwind. We do not. Do I set up a Tailwind just for that? You know what? I'm doing Watch, we're going to be paralyzed here. Let's get this fish trend rolling. Say GG, yo. Give me that 3 now. Watch, we're going to be paralyzed here. I'm not going to like it one bit. Yo, screw me over. The so wildfire damage just to take him out. We're thriving. We are thriving, man. Tailwind. Uh, yo, Draco. Clean up this mess. Clean it up. Wash him down with some water. Wash him down with some water. Get out of my face. GG, baby. GG. 3-0. and 3-0. Oh. Oh. Let's go, dude. That's hype. That's hype. New room. And we buzz. We buzz. Awesome video today. Had a perfect record. Guys, if you want to push a rank ladder, try out this team. Very, very simple to use. Dominates, does work all around, and is actually really, really fun as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.